Did you know that the Invitation Cup is officially the toughest trophy to win in Indian sport? Here's a quick lowdown why. You can't enter a horse in the Invitation. You've got to get nominated by the club you race in. And that's only going to happen if you are the best of the best. No amount of money can buy you a berth. The form lines can't guarantee a result. It's simple really, because in most Group 1 classics, the best horse doesn't necessarily win. But the fittest and luckiest horse on that day will surely have a mighty big say. Welcome to Hyderabad for the Invitation Cup of 2019. The horse carrying the overwhelming weight of the public purse was the Indian Derby winner, Star Superior. This horse had been a revelation in Bombay, shattering all myths about his sire's limitations at the classic distance. From the classic crop and facing up again was the heroine from the East, Adjudicate, who at first glance seemed to be a very different horse from the one who showed up at Mahalakshmi, for the better. Multi-classic winners like Desert God, Kangra and Salazar had all shown up with more than a fair claim to the irrefutable title of best classic distance horse in the country. This Invitation Cup would be the definitive answer to that question. Who is India's best horse over a mile and a half? So the moment has arrived, ladies and gentlemen, as the horses are parading in the paddock for the Indian Turf Invitation Cup Grade 1, the one that we've been waiting for. It's a beautiful day here in Hyderabad, just up for racing. The jockeys have made their way from the wing room, getting into the parade ring. They meet their connections for their final instructions. The Poonawala family have arrived. Star Superior, the hot favorite here in the Indian Turf Invitation Cup. The winner of the Indian Derby who beat Adjudicate very, very easily. Suraj Naredu mounting on Star Superior, looking an absolute beast. Definitely from Calcutta, and you can have that either. The runners and riders are now leaving the parade ring, getting onto the track, and there's a big roar. From the stands here at Hyderabad Race Club in Malakpet. Back stands at the Hyderabad Race Club, all anxious. Lines at the tote counters, getting onto the edge of the seats. As the runners and riders are now beginning to arrive at the starting gates. Loading operations to commence any moment from now. Smasher is the first one to be loaded. Adjudicate steps in. Queued up treasure. 
loaded the invader gets on we're just waiting now for star superior star superior completes the line they all on Away they go for the Indian Turf Invitation Cup Grade 1 and what a roar from the stands here in Hyderabad but as they settle down to race and it's the winner of the Indian Turf Invitation Cup last year in Calcutta, Kangra the leader. Barbara length and a half in front of Psychic Forces in second place, not too far away is Smasher. Tucked on the inside is the winner of the Indian Derby which is Star Superior in the red and white. Further away there's Bradfield College being tracked there by the legend at Desert God in the green and pink. Not too far away there's Indian Pharaoh being tracked there by uh, Adjudicate, the winner of the Calcutta Derby in the gold and red jacket. A length and a half, two lengths away is the Invader. Not too far away, the Invader. There we go back to my opinion. Another length and a half, two lengths away, Salazar. Then we got Tudor Treasure bringing up the rear. Back to the leader, and it's Psychic Force who comes to take over the running. So we have a new leader, it's Psychic Force. Barbara, length and a half, two lengths in front of uh, Smasher, settled in second, not too far away. There's uh, Bradfield College, another length away. There's Kangra, who settled in fourth. Another length and a half away, Salazar, ranging up on the outside. Another length away in the red and white in uh, fifth position, now a star superior. A length and a half, two lengths away. There's Indian Pharaoh, not too far away, Indian Pharaoh. There we go back to adjudicate on the outside. There's the and last of all is that Tudor Treasure. They pass the 1200 meter marker and it's Psychic Force. Barbara Length in front of Smasher is the one on the outside. On the outside of us, Smasher, the Salazar ranging up. Another length and a half, two lengths away, Bradfield College. Another length away, Bradfield College. In the blue and yellow is Kangra. A length and a quarter away, Kangra. There comes Star Superior. Not too far away, Star Superior is Adjudicate. On the outside of Adjudicate, there's Indian Pharaoh. Then we go back to my opinion. Tucked on the inside is the invader. Another two lengths away, there's Tudor Treasure bringing up the rear. They pass the 1000 and approach the 800 meter marker. And we have Salazar who comes to take over the new leader. But it's Salazar, Baba two lengths in front of uh, Smasher is in second place. Another length away, Bradfield College off the battle, tucked on the inside. Kangra, Star Superior is waiting to pounce on the outside. Then we got Desert God as the edge, stand foam. Round the town into the straight, Salazar comes in on first. Baba length and a half, two lengths in front of Kangra. On the outside is Desert God. Star Superior is the one inching close on the outside followed there by adjudicate from Calcutta and it's Salazar now on being tracked on the outside there by Star Superior and adjudicate on the outside and Desert God is poking through in the inside it's Desert God now from adjudicate and Star Superior it's a four-way battle and it's adjudicate from Desert God adjudicate from Desert God these two are battling it out here in the invitation cup Adjudicate from Calcutta from Desert God. Adjudicate from Desert God. Adjudicate wins the Indian Turf Invitation Cup from Desert God. Then Star Superior is just third. What a ride by Jockey Wire Srinath. He's an absolute classic jockey. He's won the Invitation Cup for the Nanda family and the Ketan family. The filly from the East has done it here in Hyderabad. Has come out and won the Indian Turf Invitation Cup in taking style from Desert God. And Star Superior is just third. What a reverse of uh, placings here in the Invitation Cup from uh, the Indian Derby that was run in Bombay a few months ago. Desert God, the legend, has got beat by Adjudicate, the filly from the East. Would you still love horse racing without its glorious, glorious uncertainties? Would the game be the same if a horse couldn't outrun the form book on any given day? I guess we can agree that no sporting spectacle matches up to the sheer adrenaline of a thousand pounds of horse flesh thundering down the home stretch. Adjudicate may have the title, but after a spectacle like that, the sport and the game is the real winner here. Five of them were abreast with a furlong to go and it could have been anybody's race. But it was Adjudicate and Srinath's destiny to find that little bit extra when it mattered the most.
So Adjudicate reverses the form with Star Superior, bravely holds off Desert God and adds her name to a rather exclusive list of Invitation Cup winners. Seeing the gold and red colours emerge triumphant brought back glimpses of the glory days for the Kethan family and their partner Arun Nanda, for whom this filly is a culmination of his racing legacy. Srinath can't lose the Invitation Cup in Hyderabad apparently, as this victory completed a hat-trick of winners for the senior pro. It is reliably learnt that his partnership will continue into the Bangalore summer as well. And knowing Srinath, we can expect this filly to bring him to work with a smile on his face and a spring in his stride. A good horse tends to have that effect, especially when you've just set the new national track record in India. Adjudicate's trainer, James McEwen, caught up with us at the trophy presentation to tell us exactly what this moment in history meant to him. Yeah, it's, it pretty much worked out the whole way. You know, once he pulled her out, uh, she started coming, but then you've still got to get past Desert God. And even when he, she got past him, he was coming and coming, so she still had to finish out the race. So there was, I didn't start celebrating until after the line, because, you know, usually the invitation horse has traditionally always been the best horse eventually, but we'll see. Still some time yet. Yeah?